Hello everybody, it is Vanilla here, and today we're going to be playing World of Warcraft again. So let's get right into it and play our new Blood Elf character. I'm really excited for this. The past few years have seen unprecedented changes within the eternal land of Quel'Thalas. The Blood Elves, following the will of their crazed leader, Kael'thas Sunstrider, channeled dangerous, chaotic magics to transform their sacred Sunwell into a gateway of unspeakable evil. While Kael'thas and his demonic masters were eventually defeated, a different kind of transformation occurred within the Sunwell itself, as a dying Naru sacrificed its life essence to reignite the Sunwell into a fount of holy energy. Now, the Blood Elf Regent Lorthamar Theron sees a new hope on the horizon for his people. Over time, the Sunwell's light could cure the Blood Elves of their cursed state. But many still cling to the arcane powers they've procured and are hesitant to relinquish them. As one of the remaining Blood Elves, you must fight to protect Quel'Thalas and help redeem the soul of your ancient people. Ooh, okay. It's been a minute since I've uh, seen that video, so hearing that again really, really got me excited for playing Blood Elf again. Um, for, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm actually gonna go through some of the quests and also talk about how, what everything is, is on the screen. For anyone who has played World of Warcraft before, I'm going to tell you now that I don't have any add-ons on. I'm not going to add any. Uh, though I do have them, I don't have them turned on. And I'm going to try to keep the this playthrough as vanilla as possible. Just for anyone who's new, you know, I'm going to keep it as vanilla as possible. So with that being said, I'm gonna go through my first ep or first quest State to kill business. six Monarin. And from the from the quest it says they're located around this area and I saw I see a couple, so I know exactly what I'm doing. And if you wanna read these quests, go ahead and pause the video. You can read them, but I'm not gonna read through them. Not right now at least, because I wanna keep I wanna try to get through as many quests as possible. We will have justice. So let's go ahead, kill our first one. And um, as I'm killing these, I kind of want to go through some of the stuff like, um, like as you're playing, you probably see this little little thing up here for anyone who's new. That is, uh, that is your profile. It would tell you like what your name is. Uh, this one right here, which is green. That tells you how much uh, health you have, and as you see, as it keeps hitting me, it goes down a little bit. And right under that, the blue right here, 260, that is the amount of mana I have. As I level up, there's some um, spells that use mana. Smite does not use mana at all. But there's some that take away some of that, some of that down, and you have to really make sure that's up as much as possible to keep... To be able to do the really big and good spells. Uh, next to it, it, that's just the same thing, but for the enemy that's that you're targeting at that moment of time. Um, another thing over here is uh, your mini map, which basically tells you know where you're at. Um, you can click this little button, or for me, there's a hotkey M. It'll open up your actual map with a quest log right next to it. And I just need to kill one more Ren before I can turn this quest in. But continuing on the map after I kill there we go. Um You have you know it shows like where you can turn in your quests. One thing I do kind of like is it shows you where to turn in at the quest at. Where in like vanilla, uh, they didn't tell you where the quests, to, where to turn in the quests. You would actually have to read this to figure out where do I need to turn the quest in. Which I liked, I personally liked. 
it made it a little bit more um it, it made it more challenging me actually having to read it to figure out where all the stuff is. Now we had to go kill eight collar or get eight links collars because I actually don't know why we have to. I don't know why. Oh, they they some come to uh, the crystal, so we have to get their collars for some forsaken reason. Um, but yeah, this just tells you where you're at, where where you have to go to get the quest done, and you have some tracking abilities, which I'm not going to go into right now. You also have a calendar, which I'm also not going to go into. I don't use that much anyway. And we've collected our first lynx collar. That's pretty cool. Weirdly, these don't show up on the character, on the targets, which I don't understand why, but it's fine. We're all good. We're collecting collars, and that's an important part. Um, under that is your quests. And it'll just show you, you know, like, what quests you're on, which ones, you know, need to be completed. And, uh, it'll change, the number will go up with each one you collected, obviously. Um, you can hide that too. And I believe there's also a thing called achievements that came in at the, uh, um, one of the expansions, which I'll talk about expansions a little bit. Um, that came in at the Wrath of Lich King expansion, which is the third one, third expansion to ever come out. Uh, Burning Crusade was the second one. Which introduced a, a blood elf, like the blood elf characters. There's also on the alliance, there are um, genies that came in on the second, the second expansion. Which I like both characters. It's probably one of my favorite expansions, and I might actually end up doing some of the content from the from uh, Burning Crusades because I really I haven't really been able to play it, and with uh, the newest with Shadowlands being out I believe it might be a little bit easier to uh, do Burning Crusade content and then go straight into Shadowlands content so yeah it would be interesting to kind of see what I end up doing when I level up as well but back on the topic of telling you what everything is on uh, on here we go down to um, oh wait I realized something I do need to put on these things called action bars, which basically allow me to put more stuff on my, uh, like around my whole character, not character, screen. But these, all of these over here and down here, they just allow you to put, you no know, food, like so you can eat food, um... I have to speak to someone on the aisle uh, west from the Sun Spire, so right over there. Okay, and I won't do that one yet, because I know where that one leads, and I won't do that one right now. But, uh, you can place food, uh, you get mounts, riding, and there's also some mounts that can fly. Uh, you can also, again, I think I already said this, you can put spells... And I'll put this one up here, because I'm just used to putting all my healing stuff for yes. priests up here. Uh, we got to do a racial, which I'll talk about racials real quick, since I just got the quest. And use it on a monorim. We will have justice. So, uh, veering off of what I was saying again, you have each character has their own uh, racial ability for... Blood Elves, it's a uh, Arcane tor Torrent. It re removes one beneficial effect from all enemies within 8 yards and restores 3% of your mana. Which is very beneficial if you're like a, a priest, you get your some of your mana back. And it also, for I think any class, it removes a, uh, a buff. That's basically a beneficial effect, which I believe is also called a buff. From any enemies within a certain distance around your character. So I'm gonna get near this mono room. Press for that one. I had to press um, 12. Or if it's on the keyboard, it should be like the plus or minus. 
Or if you have like a gaming um, gaming mouse like I do, it's 12. That's why I said 12. Because I was looking at that instead of um, the keyboard itself. But yeah, that's a racial buff that helps you, helps yourself and sometimes the people around you. I don't quite remember every single uh, buff from each class or each uh, character. But any, anyways, uh, right here is where most of your spells are going to be. And when you level up, as you saw when I turned level 3, Flash Heal just kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from. And landed right in this slot here. And I moved it up here so I can have more spells down here. Uh, most of the time you'll have different, you'll see like one and then we click an up or down, you'll see two. That's just the amount of, um, I don't remember the exact name, I think it's, I'm just going to say amount of rows for your hot bars and the amount of hot bars you can have. Stage and um, Ron. over here, this was added on, I believe, in Battle for Azeroth, or maybe the one before that. This is fairly new. I haven't seen it you know, in earlier expansions. I may be wrong, but I know I haven't seen this bar a lot until more recent expansions. And then... So I had to go read a plaque for this quest. And then I can't return it until I've read it. We will have and I also had to go get his belongings because he's a lazy sack. Which... I would also tell someone like, yo, go get my stuff for me, because I don't want to get it myself. But, I don't, know, I don't trust people enough just to do that sometimes. Our enemies will fall. Uh, with this one, we had to go collect six arcane silvers from any creature on the aisle that uses mana. Oh! We will have Every time when I'd done that quest, I always just thought it was uh, mana realms you can get it from. Because they, they use mana, obviously. But, I guess it's just from any creature. Okay. Huh. I didn't know that until now. Oh well. Uh, let's see, where was I at? With trying to explain stuff on the screen. Um, as you get more stuff, like as you get like multiple quests, it'll show up here. And I think there's a limit to how many, you can, how many quests you can actually have. On here, I don't remember the exact number, but I believe you can have like six or seven just lined up right here before they start. Um, there's these sections called quest log, and that is where it pulls up your map anyway. But that's where you can see all of your quests, and they're sectioned out between a which area you're in. So if I go to Eversong Woods and I say get this quest. It'll have a little section that comes up with that quest, and you can just click it. And it'll tell you everything about it, and then with the area of which it you can get it in. Which is very interesting. I don't use it as much as some other people would. I just use it to sometimes abandon quests if I don't play it anymore. Or don't do that quest anymore if I don't want to do it. But other than that, yeah. Uh, bags, which I've realized I haven't entered my bag at all. Um, this is basically where all of your stuff is stored. And... Let's see, triggers. Um, they've added the cleanup bags recently, actually. Or basically, you can just assign, you know, like, equipment to go into this bag. You, if you have, like, a really large bag. You can put trade goods or consumables. It's not something I technically use when I first start playing a character, but definitely on like my uh, like my max level characters, I use it to really make sure I know where all my consumables are and where all of my equipment and all my trade goods that I most likely just need to sell. It just it makes it so much easier for anyone who has OCD. Um. But yeah, there's your bags. So you can actually collect anything besides most quest stuff, I think. Because with quest stuff now, quest stuff, I think 
it just kind of, you pick it up and it says you picked it up and it doesn't show in your bags anymore. Well, it's a, it's a good and a bad thing to, for me. Because I like seeing like, oh, I actually picked that up, but again, it takes up a slot. So if you've got like really good boots from a, a boss, but you have like 20 quest items and you have nothing left, you can't pick up the boots unless you want to destroy, de destroy something from your uh, bag. Uh, let's see, going on from that, under there you have all these different icons. And if I can not die today, I can't even use that. And I'll, I'll explain why I can't use that axe uh, after I kind of explain everything that's down here. But you have like your character info, which will tell you, uh, you know, uh, let me open it actually. Uh, it will tell you like what your character looks like. Uh, you have all these slots that, you know, that goes on your head, your neck, shoulders, back, um, hands. You can have two finger slots and two trinkets on. And over here is all your attributes, which I'm not really going to get into until I get, um, a higher level. Because they're not, they're not too important at lower levels. For me, they're not too important at lower levels just because I'm just trying to get through quests. And to level up. And then once you find kind of what your strategy is. Um, and later on you'll get. Like a talent and specialization that really will define all this. And that. It's a lot to take in but. It's going to be explained a little bit better as. As I level up and as we go through this playlist or playthrough. Uh, this one. Is. Um your reputation and let's see what time is it okay and um you have like it, it goes from a neutral let's see what does it go from i written it down i don't remember what it was so with most reputation it goes from neutral friendly honored and then exalted or exalted and when you level up and you're a uh, reputation like you can get more uh more gifts and not gifts um uh what is it like just more stuff from it you get you can get stuff from uh leveling up your reputation and i'm really big in reputation as well so i'm gonna try to actually get you know at least most of these above friendly maybe to exalted if i wanted to uh used to like, definitely back in a Burning Crusade, you can actually get hated in some factions. But now it's kind of, you can't really get hated in any faction. I think there's one where it's like, you, you're automatically hated from it. But, it, 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 you can't like, you know, go from friendly back down to neutral, down to hated anymore. Um, the next thing... See, I think I already killed enough, actually. I didn't I didn't realize I already finished that. Um I'll do this one first since it's closer to us. Um the next thing is your um spell book and you have also your abilities, which I'll go through as you know the time goes on. Uh you kinda just you gain more uh spells as you level up. Versus that. And there's also like three, uh, what is it called? Specializations, which I'm not going to go into, you know, right off the bat. Uh, it's just kind of something I'm going to go through as time goes on. And um, yeah, that's that's nothing too important that I want to go through, go to right now. You And then again, I think I suggested it like two or three times. So your specialization and talents. With most classes, or for, yeah, with most classes, you have, like, three choices. As you see here, you got Discipline, Holy, and Shadow. Uh, I think with this character, I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a Shadow Priest. Which I'll explain a little bit, where, as a Shadow Priest, you would, um, use Dark Magic to kill your enemies while... Um, like holy priests would 
are basically your healers. Discipline, I think that's... I don't remember much about Discipline. I haven't played Discipline at all, so I don't... I, I sadly don't know what it is. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, I guess I could look at it. Um... So it's basically your, um... Yeah, your holy DPS is like a, a Discipline DPS uh, healer and another DPS. Uh, a DPS... It's, it's sh short for uh, damage per second. It's basically your people who um, do the most damage. You've also got other uh, like set people like your healers. You know, they heal other players that are on your side. And then you got your, um, your tanks, which they really, they have a lot more like plate armor they have a lot more protection they basically protect the whole group and keep um all the enemies on them so the rest of the party party does not die uh where's where's this at okay this is way over here um so that that's kind of a basic rundown of like three different you know you got your healers dps and tanks it's basic rundown um I bet you if you go to a website called Icy Veins, it can give you a lot better explanation than what I'm telling you guys. It was everything that is with WoW. If you hear something that I say and it does, just does not, like, it goes in one ear and goes out, or I just, it, I did not explain it as well as, you know, it needed to be, that you just go to Icy Veins and just look up uh, Talents Priest, you know, or just Talents in general. And there's a whole article just about Talents and about Talents for each class. Um, and it, side note, if you want to read this, pause it. I've read this already. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing forward to see how many quests I can do in... See, it's like 4.32. Maybe a couple more quests. I'll probably turn these in. And do a couple more. Yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to turn these in. And it might be, you know, good to kind of stop the video for today. As, um... No, I don't want to go over. I don't want to go over, you know, like 40 minutes. Because I already recorded episode 2. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I already recorded episode 2. And then it's I had a really chaotic February. February is just a chaotic month for me. It's always been a chaotic, chaotic month. But it was really chaotic for me. And I look back at the video and I'm like, this is just not good. This just I just didn't edit this well. I did not get Good shots from this. This is 45 minutes. Too much stuff. Way too much stuff going on. Hell no. And it already took took me an hour to try to actually get get it going because I'm a college student. Ooh, power word shield. I'll talk about power word shield a little bit whenever I turn these in, and I'll probably end the episode. But I'm a college student, and um. Remember the sun well. I don't know what happened. It's just, it was really, the situation itself that I was in was really weird. My video I recorded was like not Remember downloading well. to my computer. It wouldn't download to any computer on campus. So I had to put it into like a OneDrive. And then Premiere was being a butt saying, oh, you can't upload this mp4 because of some issue i don't even remember what it was it was just a bunch of minor stuff and i'm just like okay restarting not even gonna think about it anymore gonna redo it remade the character because i was no i was already done off this aisle like this is an island and then you go to this area like, I was just off of it. Now, I was about to go to this area right here. I was. I'm like, no. Hell no. Um. 
But this is this right here might be a good spot to like in game to stop as we're gonna go to that big like big place. There's not really a good spot to show you because there's that big tree. But next area we're gonna go to this area and then carry on trying not to sing carry on my wayward son because my ADHD ass is wanting to sing that so badly but that would be so cringe in this video <laughs> but anyway besides the ranting that i just did i think i think this is a good spot to end it it's a good spot and if you've enjoyed the video if, if you've enjoyed me ranting and explaining all of this that's on uh, the screen uh, make sure you like the video, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm also recording a Minecraft video, so if you didn't really like this and you like Minecraft, subscribe, turn on that notification, and wait for that Minecraft video to be posted sometime this week. <laughs> and, uh, that's all for today. Bye!